Red Lane's being given the Riley Brewster Tater, the Caleb Hurt Tater. In the blue lane, he's the higher seed. They've been invited to bring it, Philip, and it is game on. Caleb Hurt, the number two seed against your man, the Grasshopper, Riley Brewster. The Grasshopper Brewster. stepping back up. The shot-making kid. Let's see, he's going automatically going for a block to start with. Let's see if he's going to do that. He's already had the, the dubious job of playing one hurt already in the finals <laughs> of the junior, and he didn't come out very well on that one. He had a rough way to go right there, but he had one of the more amazing shots he have seen through the course of the day. He's got that pro jersey on now as he is in the pro series. That is a requirement for them to be sporting their colors, yeah. whether those be red, white, and blue, or silver and black, either one. But they exchange taters, and uh, he has, a, again, he continues to hold on to that uh, hooded men in black look underneath. <laughs> That pro jersey. So these guys washed the first frame and they are ready to go again. He did tell me he's freezing, but he, you can't tell it by the way he throws the bags. Well, no, I'm, I'm going to probably offer to maybe uh, steal a little bit of prize money if he doesn't take some yeah. himself and get him a sandwich. Oh, we need to put some meat on those bones. No lie. I'll tell you what, you and I are both sitting over here sweating and he's freezing. There's <laughs> no. a distinct difference between the uh, body shapes. And you know what, I'll yeah. be honest with you. I'd, Probably I'm a little jealous of his. I don't think he's jealous of mine. <laughs> no. Oh, oh that's nice two bag. get around bags by Caleb Hurt. Really nice bag right there. Out to the right side, the grasshopper. Nice. He pushes one through and holds one up there on the left lip. Nicely done. Oh, and Caleb let him off the hook yeah, here a little he bit. He sure did, and he moved it a little bit right to left. Now, earlier I questioned Bob Heil when he was pulling bags nicely down oh. there. He puts one in. He's going to go ahead and uh, sacrifice two, minimize some damage there. But we talked to Bob Heil about you know, when he was missing, he was missing right to left. And he said, no, I always miss to the right. And then he proceeded to get up and miss to the left. Not that I know his game better than his than he does, but I will say this. And, and Caleb would be the first one to tell you when he misses, he does tend to miss to the yeah, left. Absolutely. Absolutely. He don't, he don't miss very often. Yeah, that's if, if and when yeah. he misses. Yeah, there's cobwebs on that word if. Absolutely. And miss. Riley's going to lay one in low right there. How about my man Adam Gilbert tuning in? OTT, -T. -T, baby, yeah, you know yes, me. sir. Hey. All right, and Isaac Hurts, Caleb's younger brother, perhaps maybe the first king of the family of Cornhole. Who knows? We yeah. shall see. He took down Todd Gammon in game one in a best of three. He's up 15-7 in game two on one of the other courts. Caleb up right now 2 nothing, on top of Riley Brewster, the grasshopper. That's going to be a four spot there That's added to two. the tally. Make it four total. Going to take him to four. Okay, yeah. He's taking yeah, sorry. You got my hand signals mixed up a little no, bit. I was, well, I was looking down here at the uh, Isaac Hurt score because it went from uh, very quickly from eight to seven to 15 to seven. Yeah. You don't see that kind of score posted against Todd Gammon. No. All that often. Bob Heil and Craig Irvin are slated to play, but Irvin is pitching a little bit of co-ed in the other room, so we're going to put that game on hold. And uh, show you some good stuff here. And I think this one is a best two out of three is going to be a yeah. lot of fun to watch. There's going to be some shot making in this game, just like it was when uh, Riley played Isaac. It's, it's, it's going to be interesting to watch Grasshopper's body language. If he mm -hmm. starts getting off a little bit, it can affect his game. Well, you know, he rocks back on that right yeah. heel the way he does. You wouldn't think he'd have that kind of power behind his wow. back. What a shot there. That, that would look man. like a jump back off a rubber band into the hole. He has got that shot down pat right now. He sure does, boy. There's oh, that rocket shot coming in low, and that's going to be a seven spot yeah. right there. And that is going to be a, um, a little bit of a mountain and a molehill to overcome there. Got man, a we, couple of French fries up against a goose egg. We have seen that over and over on center court here today, the – the top seeds, the Caleb Hurt, the Gary Bear Pauls. You do not want to get behind on these guys. It is so hard to score points as it is. Yeah, it really is. Even if you're, and we yeah. talk about, you know, every comeback is done a point at a time, two points at a time. That's right. You're not going to have those players, no. and you're certainly not going to see Caleb. I mean, we talked about that. That's the unicorn. We see him give up a six spot or uh, even put one off the back of the board unless yeah. he's really going aggressively after an airmail. Cleans up everything there. Riley has that middle open, lays a low block. Caleb's just going to come in and lay low. Oh, he tried to roll it. He tried to roll it. So and there's an opportunity right there. there. Right there for Riley. I yeah. think Riley, I think no, I, that me, I, I'm, I'm not going to beat the guy. Let me tell you this. But I think to beat him and Isaac 
You've got to get into some kind of block game. You can't just let them slide into you all day long. Well, and I think um, each of them have their own way yeah. of if you decide to play defense against them, they both have a way around it. I mean, certainly Caleb's is the airmail. Isaac tends to be that roll bag. But Isaac also has a an offensive-defensive strategy yeah, or a defensive-offensive strategy where he lays that low blocker and then comes and puts it back into play to score off of it later. Yeah, and that's, and that's back-to-back. Riley's had, had a couple of blockers up, and he's got Caleb out of play almost again. You can't, you cannot count Caleb out of play, though. No, but and he put that other yeah, blocker in there. Now he's, now he's really got a, uh, a yeah. great opportunity right here to push through and take both, which he'll do. Nice Yes, bag. he does. Nicely done. Caleb, he's going to try to get this bag over on the left. Going to come in low and flat. Oh. Boy, and, uh, well, I think that one. That uh, one's going to go. That one at 9 o'clock is all but in. But how about a nice yeah. round by Riley Bruce that's right good here stuff to right get there. back in this game? He's going to add that four to the two yeah. right there, and that's going to be a uh, a nice round for him, and that's about as many as you could hope to pick up. And he started off with a blocker, off, uh, a little blocker, a little shorter, though. Well, Caleb. he sure did. And, 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 you know, Caleb hasn't decided to go to the airmail yet. Yeah. Now when he wants to, he can. Oh, he's got one now. Um, but interesting that he's he's hold, he's held off at this point. I think if it gets to be 11-7, 11-9, you might see him play a little bit more aggressively. Because, again, it's two out of three, so you want to get that early yeah. jump and take that first game. Now, he left that one a little bit over on his side, and Caleb was an easy get around right there. Yeah, he just wants to go and clean that up and start fresh. Yeah, well, I don't think he'll take that. And Caleb, once again, now Riley's got a chance to clean this mess up. He's trying to fix the mat. Fix his, uh, fix yeah. his pitch pad there and step out to the far edge and coming from the inside arm to have the kind of power and that lean back power that he gets coming in low. Oh, no. oh what, <laughs> what a bag. Shot. What a bag. How about Riley. that? What a great shot. He just cleans up all three, and that forces oh, Caleb yeah. to try to do the same. He yeah. leaves that dirty diaper sitting up on the top corner. Kenny Cordell and Lane Cruz are tuning in. Oh, oh boy. and that's one he would like to have back. Because Caleb can roll right there over. There it is, right get there. That get around. There it is. So you're right. They There's a the wash. It. Oh, well, I suppose when you got a dirty diaper, you're going to have to do some wash at some That's point. That's right. So you better. Ultimately, no one's surprised by that. That, could, a, that could have been a stinky shot right <laughs> there. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and Isaac Hurd extends his lead over Todd Gammon in game number two in their best of three. After taking the first game, he is up 17-10 to 10 in game number two. Still Gary Bearpaw and Austin Thomason. Ready to fire here as the uh, three seed takes on the six seed. And then Bob Howell, oh, number one seed, against man. the number nine seed, Craig Irvin. There's a dirty bag yeah. that you don't expect to see on center court, but every once in a while. Oh, he might get away it with happens. it. happens. Yep. He's got two left. Oh. And this round has gone to kaput. That's going to that's gonna cost him right there yeah. for sure. A minute ago, he tried to get this bag right here, and he ended up leaving both of them off the way. Oh, he did it again. He did it again. Here's an air show right here, Finn. Boop. Oh, it is an airmail <laughs> drag. Nicely and done there. And that's going to be a seven spot. And that takes Caleb Hurd up on an 18 on six. Boy, not as quickly as it uh, looked like it might be a, a shootout there. It uh, as quickly as it became a blowout. But you think about this. You take two sevens back and just give twos. Man, this game right here is is, is dead even. Yep, that's other it, than right. two rounds. And it looks like on uh, the other court here, it looks like uh, Isaac Hurt took down Todd Gammon. So he's got a... Uh, Two games out of three there, and he took the two. Look at that. That was just a, a kind of a flippity flop yeah. over the top roll bag there. And there's a, there's a good piece of the hole left. There's quite a bit of real estate, 60% maybe. And he uh, tried to roll one. He did. He tried to roll it up, I think, over the top, even if he took Caleb with him. But Caleb's going to try to sneak one not inside bad, there. Bad. About 60% of the hole available back. Back half of the real estate up and over. Oh, oh. now that. That's curious because now there's four bags sitting there, two of each. He might try to plug these up. Yeah, he's going to go up. Flat Actually, he's just going to knock Riley out of the way and have all his bags go. What, yeah. what do I then know, I'll go Finn? Ahead and, I'll go ahead and collect right there. Oh, and that's boy. it. Game that's one. That's going to do it. All right, game one goes uh, 21 on six to uh, Caleb Hurt over at Riley Brewster. But, again, this is a best two of three, so 21 on six. Nicely played there. These guys are going to get to fire in here on game two without any further adieu. So uh, 21 on six, game one, 21 to what will be game two? Who do you think that takes game two? <laughs> oh, man, I hate to predict because Riley, 
He had a good strategy in the middle of the game, and he just missed his blocks just a little bit. And he starts out with one almost out of play to start this second game. Trying to get it back. Recovery there, yep. <laughs> Caleb says, you're not going to recover that without me doing something to yeah. make you work for it. Don't forget yeah. who you're dealing with over here. Yeah. Now he might be getting a little bit careless. He seems to be rushing his shot just a bit. Yeah. The one thing that you're not going to do is you're not going to take Caleb Hurd out of his game oh, for he, very long. This is going to be brutal. be another seven, and that's three sevens right that the Grasshopper has given up that's gonna do in it two right games. There. Yep. Seven very quickly, and uh, now we'll see just how, whether that maturity we talked about earlier in one of the earlier center court matches with the Grasshopper. You know, and he came in and he fired. He played He played defense. Yeah. He played aggressively. He came in and shot one that never made it more than two feet off the ground and came in like a rocket shot. Made some pretty amazing shots, but the maturity to come back from something like this after having yeah. lost 21-6 to six in the first game and already given up the seventh spot, that's going to be a, go. be a test. He's got this opportunity to push through this, which he should. And he does. Very nice. Caleb says, all right, you're going to give me the hole. I'll take it. That one's sitting out there to the right. That just represents mm, just a couple. Yeah, Riley just needs to take a deep breath, grab these two points, and then mm -hmm. get back in his game. He got he threw a couple of air mails I thought he shouldn't have in the last round. Well, and I think he, he started rushing. Yeah. He started playing a little bit faster than his normal pace, and he does like to control the pace. He'll take a step out, and he'll think about it for a second. But I don't think you're going to play a big head game against Caleb. No. You're not going to do it. If, if, if Caleb can play and practice day in and day out with his brother and not be uh, flustered, if you will, or be taken out of the game mentally, there's nobody that's going yeah. to do it. Hey, you know, I was talking to Russell Tabers last night on the way here. You know, we're talking about Caleb. People go to these regionals, and nice the shot. good ones really only have maybe one or two challengers, mm -hmm. you know, that are, that are decent. And most time they dominate them. When you go to a regional, these, these two guys have to play Austin Cameron and, and Isaac Curtin. And these three guys, that's why these three guys are oh, so oh, good. Not. Nice, yeah. yeah. Well, you want to be the best, you got to yeah. be the best. Oh, he's All got right. that shot down pat. Pick up a couple more. That seven on two becomes nine on two, and the seven point tally becomes a seven point lead right there. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's the only way to get better at anything yes, is play with absolutely. people that are better than you. And, and the great thing is about tier play here in the ACO is you have an opportunity. Let's say you uh, don't make it through bracket play, but you have an opportunity to play tier two or tier three. And you may not run right into that immediate buzzsaw no. that you might run into in regular pool play. So you have an opportunity then to earn some points in tier two and tier three mm -hmm. and, and play at that, uh, that even par level. It's kind of nice. Riley, you, you, the body language has really changed in Riley. Mm -hmm. He's shaking his head on shots and stuff now. Well, that one is talking uh, to himself. Yeah, he's got a uh, couple of words of wisdom, I think. Oh, no, I know it stuffed it up, but it didn't quite get. It looks like on the board could be a wash. Oh, look at that. Oh, and, he, uh, he, <laughs> and, and you know what? The bad luck he got. I'm not two of sure. his went off was the it, back, and he gives up a five spot. I couldn't tell who who ended up paying the price off yeah. the back side of that. It came in so low and fast. I don't know if he really uh, – that must have been more than that. Yeah, 17 on two yeah. now. That was a nine on two, so that yeah. was an eight spot right wow. there. I think, uh, I think we've seen a, a couple of – Significant mental game breakdowns here. On yeah, the that, over you the can see the Riley. Afternoon. He's just about done like that. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. come on, Riley. Get, we can not. You can make it yeah. happen. Roll it up and no, over. He's not going to do it. He's not. He's just going to. Look at that shot, man. And that is not an easy shot, Finn. Uh -uh. That is a hard shot. Just because I make it look easy doesn't yeah. mean it is easy. That's a piece of advice I've heard a number of times. That's right. See what he does here. Make go for him. Well, he's had some really great collector shots oh, right there. That's four, and that's going to be that's it. That's going to be it. That does it. That's going to be two out of three right there. So twenty-four or twenty-one on uh, six, and then twenty-one on two, and uh, it looks like they're going to gather their weaponry and head back to their respective corners. Congratulations, Caleb Hurt. He will advance to the winner of Gary Bearpaw and Austin Thomason and Isaac Hurt and Caleb Hurt on a crash course to see one another potentially in the finals. Thank you.